10 games for online students that are high level or adults. Number one, this one is so stupidly simple that you're gonna get angry for clicking on the video. Just tell them to talk about a topic for 30 seconds and start a timer. You can put them in chat rooms so they talk about it to each other or they can all talk at you at the same time. But you just say, talk about your favorite food, go. Talk about Vietnam, go. Talk about your worst holiday, go. No pressure, no feedback, just get them talking at the start of class. It requires no preparation and it works stupidly well. Number two, correct my lies. Bananas are orange. Uh, pigs can fly. The capital of Australia is Sydney. No, pigs can't fly. Bananas are yellow. The capital of Australia is Canberra. So they have to give the correct sentence back to you perfectly. You can also do it so that they have to correct the sentence so it's true for them. So, my name is Steve. No, my name is Yuki. My favorite food is sushi. Whoa, no, my favorite food is uh, Tom Yum Kung. Number three, uh, two truths and a lie, or would I lie to you? This is from the TV show. Uh, give two sentence, give three sentences. Two are true, one is false, and they have to kind of investigate which one is false uh, by asking you a series of questions about them. Uh, and if you want them to do the same, I would give them a week or something to prepare because otherwise they will come up with the worst lies on earth. Number four, uh, describe a picture and they draw it. Uh, if you do this, make sure to teach language about how to explain the positioning in the picture, like uh, in the middle, top left, bottom right. Uh, go through things like prepositions, verbs. Uh, so there's a sun in the top right. Under the sun is a rainbow. Uh, in front of the rainbow is a house. There's a man walking into the house. If you would like them to explain the picture to you, uh, then you can just pretend that you haven't seen the picture. Uh, you will have to prepare the pictures beforehand because some pictures are just really, really difficult to explain. And if you want them to explain to you, then you kind of have to play dumb. Uh, like pretend that you haven't seen it or chosen it for them. Number five, fortunately, unfortunately. Uh, tell a story with students taking turns uh, adding a part to the story but each part is connected by fortunately or unfortunately. Uh, for example, uh, I went to the shop. Unfortunately, it started raining. Fortunately, I had an umbrella. Unfortunately, I was struck by lightning. Fortunately, I was, I don't know. <laughs> See how far you can take it. Number six, watermelon. Uh, this game has dozens of names, you, you, you probably know it. Uh, students have to explain a word, but they have to substitute the word watermelon for the word you're trying to explain. Uh, for example, um, uh, watermelons are big, watermelons are noisy, watermelons can fly, watermelons have propellers, uh, it's a helicopter. Uh, you can change watermelon, I know it as toilet paper. Uh, yeah, it has, goes by dozens of names. Number seven, ask the expert. Uh, choose a student and they become an expert on something. And the other students have to ask questions about the topic on which they're an expert. The student has to answer every question, even if they don't know. They have to pretend like they know. And it's up to the other students to catch them out when they're lying. You can't use your phone, you can't use the internet to check. Number eight, what happens next? This one requires some preparation. Just find a video on YouTube or some videos you have and pause it before something happens and they have to guess what happens next. Uh, make it more interesting and more difficult by uh, really asking follow-up questions. You think this is gonna happen next, well why? Why do you think this is gonna do it? Just why, 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 why? Number nine, uh, keep asking why. Um, if your kids have ever done this to you, you know how annoying this is. Uh, why'd you go to the shop? Uh, to buy some bread, why? Because uh, we ran out of bread, why? Because I made a sandwich, why? Because I was hungry, why? Because you need food to survive. The same idea, the same concept, except let them do the why, 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 why first, and then the next time make them ask full questions why. Why did you go to the shop? Because I was hungry. Why were you hungry? Uh, because uh, it was lunchtime. Why was it lunchtime? Because that's, I don't know. Number 10, explain how to do something. Um, how do you make a paper airplane? How do you make a cup of coffee? 
Let them try to explain how to do that step by step to you, but don't let them use gestures. It has to be only speaking. It's really difficult and they'll probably fail. After they fail, go through, again, step by step, uh, explaining the appropriate language, explaining the kind of um, the language systems we use when explaining how to do something, and then let them try again. It's up to you if you wanna let them use gestures later on. With this one especially, I would be very careful with lower levels because it can get very difficult and they can lose uh, confidence pretty quickly. I gotta be honest, I don't teach many adult classes anymore. Um, so if you have any better games, please please comment and maybe you'll put them in an, another video at a later date uh, Also, remember we have an online store now where we have a bunch of free downloads and some paid downloads and a whole bunch of stuff delivered free to your door uh, So yeah, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe if you want